Hello, we are from Ancrum, and in today's video, we will be assessing the antioxidant activity of Indian herb samples using DPPH activity with Kamag HPTLC, a powerful tool in antioxidant research. First, let us understand the principle of DPPH. DPPH two comma two diphenyl one picryl hydrazyl, a stable free radical. known for its deep violet color when dpph encounters an antioxidant it reacts and changes color from violet to yellow this color change is key as it let us usually observe and evaluate the antioxidant activity in different samples in our demonstration we will assess the antioxidant activity of six indian herbs those are Hibiscus rosa sinensis, jaswant, Osimum tenuiflorum, tulsi, mentha piperita, pudina, gingiber officinale, ginger, Embelica officinalis, amla, and Funiculum vulgare fennel seeds. Now we'll begin with the sample preparation for our samples. The samples are prepared as per USP Chapter Two Not Three. First, weigh the sample accurately. Second. Add the appropriate diluent to the sample. Third, vortex the mixture to ensure thorough mixing. Fourth, sonicate the mixture for optimal dissolution. Fifth, finally centrifuge the mixture and use the supernatant for application. Once our sample preparation is completed, we will proceed for the sample analysis. Perform the HPTLC analysis. Log in to Kamag Vision Cat software 4.0 with your username and password. Create a new folder with a suitable analysis name. Click OK. Now create a method file in the same folder with a suitable name. Click OK. Your method file will be created. Now select the modules in the HPTLC steps. For this analysis, we recommend the following Kamag modules, which are Visualizer Two, ATS Four, Visualizer Two, Twin Trough Chamber, Visualizer Two, Immersion Device, and Visualizer Two. Click on Finish Step Definition under Chromatography. Click on the Plate Image, that is Plate Layout, to add the stationary phase details required for the analysis, as shown here. Select the plate detail name, plate format, application details, solvent front as per the requirement of the analysis. Click OK after completion. Now click on the visualizer to icon and select the illuminations in which you need to capture the blank plate image. That is clean plate image. Then click OK. Next, click on the ATS four icon and fill the details as shown. Again, click on Visualizer Two and select the illuminations in which you need to capture the applied plate image. Then, click on TTC Chamber and fill into the selected mobile phase as shown. Click on the Visualizer Two icon again and then select the illuminations in which you need to capture the developed plate image. Next, click on the immersion device and enter the details of the reagent to be used for the analysis. Then, select the parameters in Visualizer Two icon in which you want to capture the derivatized plate image. After filling all the parameters to the modules, double-click on the track assignment to enter the sample details, sample volume, and click OK. Further, click on Execute Method. A dialog box will appear. Enter the name for the analysis file and click OK. The analysis file is now created. In the analysis file, again click on Track Assignment. Fill in the vial ID for each of the samples as shown, and then click OK. Once. All the parameters in the analysis file are filled in. 
will execute the analysis. So, we'll first place the plate in the visualizer too, as shown, to capture the clean plate image. Then, we'll click on continue and clean plate image will be captured. After capturing the clean plate image, we'll proceed for sample application. For that, place the samples at the respective while position in the ATS4 and then position the plate on the plate stage. In the software, click continue to start the sample application. After the sample application, we'll again place the plate in the visualizer tool to capture the applied plate image. So in the software, we'll click on continue and the applied plate image will be captured. Once the images are captured, we'll click on accept. After capturing the applied plate image, we'll move for development. For that, we'll prepare 20 ml of mobile face and pour it into 20 by 10 TTC chamber over the saturation pad. Allow the chamber to saturate for 20 minutes as shown in this procedure. Then click on continue. Once saturation is completed, place the plate in the chamber and monitor it till the mobile face reaches the mark solvent front. When it does, remove the plate, dry it using a dryer and in the software click accept after removing the plate. Now we'll place the plate in the visualizer too as shown. Then click on continue to capture the images. Once done, click on accept. For assessing the antioxidant activity of the samples, dip the plate in 200 ml of DPPH reagent. Before dipping the plate into the immersion device, ensure that the chamber is covered with aluminium foil and turn off the lights as DPPH is photosensitive reagent. After dipping, Dry the plate to drip off the excess reagent and cover the plate with aluminium foil and keep it in dark for 1-2 to two minutes to complete the reaction. After completion of the reaction, place the plate in the visualizer tool to capture the image of the derivatized plate as shown. Click continue to capture the image and then click on accept. After completion of the analysis, we will proceed for result interpretation. As you can see here, the derivative plate image with DPPH reagent where yellow zones or bands had appeared against a violet background which indicates the presence of antioxidant compounds in all the six samples. Thank you for watching. In case of any queries, please reach out to us at the email ID and contact number mentioned on the screen.